remember Hellboy? Remember the Hellboy movie that cast shot and was in post-production within two months last year? A.K.A. Hellboy the Crooked Man? Well, we're getting a release this year, optimistically. There's a couple of these films that are in some sort of release limbo, and they're looking for a perfect spot. Hellboy is definitely a film I'm excited for, but another one is the Red Sonja reboot, which, um, yeah, that's been in post-production and done for quite a long time, but no release date yet, so hopefully something happens. Well, speaking with The Wrap, and announced by The Wrap, the Hellboy creator, Mike Mignola, was asked about the upcoming film, and why we haven't seen anything, and has it been shelved. And while this has not been confirmed by the distributor, who is Ketchup Entertainment, no, I am not making that up, that is their name, he confirmed that the film is set to release this fall. Now, of course, he's the creator, and he's not directly on the whole, hey, I'm advertising this, and I'm part of the whole marketing team, and hey, I'm involved, you know, as the PR or anything, like he was hands-on to make the film, he's not going to be the one that calls the shot on when it releases but this fall in my opinion is good um i think that they got to get away from october because if they release there they're going to be sandwiched between joker flux deluxe and venom the last dance which i don't think is a good idea if they go into november they're too close to family films and uh the holiday films which tells me we're probably getting a september release now, if this is the case, this means that the marketing is going to have to start in the summer. And I would assume, since it's going to be R-rated, we get the marketing, you know, no later than starting in, like, July. Because that gives them, like, a three-month window, which seems about optimal for a film that doesn't have a whole lot of marketing money. Probably make a splash of San Diego Comic-Con would be my guess. And then go from there, but... You know, um, we got to wait and see. From what we understand, this film is going to be on the cheap side of things. And the last Hellboy film was cheap, too. So this is going to be something. I'll keep an eye out on it. I'm obviously going to talk about it as I love Hellboy and I want more. But, yeah, it's um, it's interesting how every time we hear about this, it's a lot of uncertainty. 